What's going on stackers? So in this video I want to show you how you can easily merge low content book interiors together for free. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. Also, if you're serious about low and no content book publishing, then check out that link down in the description below to go to the LCB Vault. Within here, I add brand new trainings every single week on everything I'm doing to increase my royalties. You can also get there by going to the lcbvault.com. So to start, we are going to need a couple of interiors or a couple of PDFs. So we're going to merge the normal interior and then with the first page where it says something like this notebook belongs to. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this completely for free and it's not going to cost you anything. So first of all, we're going to need a place where we can get free interiors. Now, the best one that I know to date is BookBolt. So if you go over to Google, type in BookBolt, you're going to want this first link here. So let's go ahead and click on that. Then we'll let that load up for a second. And then you want to come up to here to resources and interior wizard. Now you don't need a BookBolt account to actually do this. You can do this completely for free. And then we go over to here to Interior Wizard, click on that, and that's going to pull up all these different interiors that we are allowed to use. As you can see, there's some interiors that you can only access if you are a member. Don't worry about that, because as you can see, there's still quite a lot to choose from. So let's go ahead and choose one of these. So let's just go with the standard notebook. We're going to do let's say six by nine we're going to do no bleed because the lines on this don't go right to the edge the only time you would choose bleed is if your lines or images or anything like that go right to the edge just like this one so with this one you would have to choose bleed this one we don't so we're going to do no bleed six by nine we're going to click on that and then we're going to do let's say 100 pages actually no in fact let's do 99 because we're going to add that extra page so now if we click download and let that do its thing for a second we can see we now have that lined interior but how do you actually customize this and merge it together with a page that's been customized by yourself well now we're going to want to go to canva so first let's just download this so let's do lined interior what's happening there we go so keep that as is so we're going to do that now that's downloaded so if we close that in fact let's go to this open my folders for a second for some reason everything's been super slow today so i apologize for that let that load up like that let's just go to downloads let's click on this so we can pull it up give that two seconds go so there we go oh no there so this is going to be a six by nine we know that but if you ever have an interior and you don't actually know what the dimensions are if you come to file up here come down to properties just there then it's going to tell you exactly what that is so this is why does that say five by eight? Oh, because we didn't change it there so in fact let's do that again six by nine 99 and then download so that's exactly 
the dimensions that we're going to need right now. So we are going to do the six by nine, so just forget about that one. So let's go over to Canva. We go here to custom dimensions. We're gonna change that to inches, just there. And then we're going to put the six by nine. And then we're going to create new design. That's going to open up into a new window like that. And here is where you can customize that first page. So why do we do this? Well, it makes your book stand out a little bit from everyone else's. It's not going to be exactly the same as everyone else's because what else can you do with a lined journal? A lined journal is a lined journal. There's no way getting around that. But you can customize that first page. So now if we go to text and we go to add a heading, we can put this journal belongs to then we can click enter, do that, and then just move that up a little bit. So we can move that to there, make sure it is centered. We can mess around with the font as well until you find something that you like. I suggest just using a sans because they're nice and clean. So if we go down to here, we could use Arimo, 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 something like that. And then you could also do something like this. So we duplicate that. We can put copyright. And then we can get the copyright symbol. just here. Now there's no need to do this. This is just something that I actually like to do on all of my books. So where is it? Let's click on that. Let that load up for a second. Just grab this one, which is just there. I can never remember what it is on the keyboard. So let's just do that. Copyright. Put that there then it would be your pen name. And then you can put all rights reserved, like so. And then we'll make that a little bit more like that. Do that. We could also change the font on that. So let's go to, let's do another sans, like so. Let's take that one. There we go. Make that a little bit bigger. Now make that a little bit smaller. Put that down and now drag that down to there. So now we have a first page. So now I'm going to download this as a PDF. Click download. And now we're going to want the free PDF merger. So if we go over to Google and then type in I love PDF merge is going to be this first one just here. Now over the last year I've used a lot of different mergers. This one I love. I just prefer this over all the all of the others. So let's do that. Then we're going to add that six by nine that we just downloaded. So let's go to there. In fact I don't think it's there. Oh there it is. There's the six by nine. Let's just do that because we don't want that five times eight, so we got that six by nine now. Let's go back over to here, add that six by nine. So let that load up again, go to there. And then we're going to add another file, which is just here, not that one. This journal belongs to, now with this you can move them around as well. And then that's what it's going to look like. So now if we merge PDF, that's going to download automatically or it should anyway. If not, we can just click download merged PDF. But there we go. So now if we open that, let's get rid of that. We're going to see that we now have that customized interior and it's at 100 pages. So we downloaded the journal, the interior at 99 pages because once we add this first page, it's going to bring it up to 100. Now you could do 119 pages, so it brings it up to 120. It's all up to you and how you go about it. So again, let's just get rid of that bit. And now if we scroll down on the page, 
we can see we have that first customized page which makes you makes your books a little bit different to everyone else's you can play around with the fonts you could depending on the niche that you are creating the journal around have some clip art in here as well it's entirely up to you but that's exactly how let's just delete that tab to merge low content books or no content book interiors the pdfs together completely for free and you can do that with any of the interiors which are on book bolt i highly recommend you actually doing that creating that first page as well you can do that in any software that allows you to make it but you could do that on all of these as well to make your books stand out and make them a little bit different to everyone else's and as you can see it doesn't take long at all now i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up also go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos that being said i've been paddy this has been stacking profit and i'll see you again soon